guys, this is Martin from iTech and today I'm going to be showing you how to download iOS 7 for free it's of course the beta version because the um, um, alpha is only coming out um, this autumn so I'm going to show you how to download um, iOS 7 for free without a developer account so as you can see here's the iPod Touch and it is um, an iPod Touch with iOS 6 and now I'm going to show you how to how to download it. So it's very important you have to have Google Chrome because um, I don't know why in Safari it just doesn't want to work. So you go to Google Chrome and um, you have to you have to write this link into here. I have the link in the description so it's easier for you. And then you go to this website. You're going to see these um, kind of well, downloads, beta downloads for iPhone 5, I, iPhone 4S, 4, um, iPads, iPod Touch. And uh, so here, this is the iPod Touch. That's what I'm going to use. You can use iPhone. It depends on which device you have. Then you go to direct, direct, actually. And then... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Okay, here it is. So now it's downloading. You go to Mega. It's Beta Mega. I don't know. It's a website. And then here you have Download File. And you go to Download. Not into Import. You go to Download. Um, oh, sorry. You have to agree here. And then you, you go to Download. You have to wait for this to download. And... Um, I won't download this again because I already have it. So uh, you have to wait for this to download, okay? And that means you're gonna have it in your downloads here. You'll have it in your downloads, and from your downloads, you have to move it. You have to drag it like this into your desktop. It's very important. Drag it to your desktop. You're gonna have it like this. It's gonna be. It's gonna look like this, and um, it's gonna be important in a few minutes. So then, you can close Chrome, and then you have to go into iTunes. Go into your iPod Touch, and if you have a PC, you have to hold Shift and click on to check for update. But while you're hold holding uh, Shift. And if you have a Mac, you have to hold the Option key, and while you're holding it, you have to click on to check for update. So here, and then this will appear. Then you're in your desktop. This will be the only one that you can choose, and then you say open. And then it says this. It okay. iPod Touch will update to iOS 7.0. Then you go to update. And then it's extracting the software, it's going to load a bit, you have to leave your iPod Touch alone. Don't touch it, don't do anything with it, and don't even do anything with your Mac, just wait patiently, it's going to take about 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to cut the video a bit sometimes, because um, the video is not so long. Okay, now it's been loading for about a half a minute, we'll just jump a bit. Um, now it's waiting for the iPod. You can see what the iPod's doing right now. This is actually already the um, new iOS 7 screen. What it has, the new design of the Apple logo is. I think it's um, a bit different from the iOS 6 Apple logo. I mean, okay, you're gonna see the difference when you're downloading it. So now this is going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to jump a bit. So it's been loading for a bit of a time now. A few minutes. And um, it's gone through verifying iPod software, updating all kinds of things. Now this is the first part where it's really loading. Till now it was kind of going, it was kind of grey. I think you know what I'm thinking. 
one. So it's not not it's not long. I think. Well, it took when I oh I when I downloaded this for the first time. It took about um, ten minutes to download on my iPod. So um, it shouldn't take too long for anyone. Well, it's very far in front on the Mac, but um, that's normal. It's going to load twice time, yeah, verifying our updated iPod software. And if everything's gone well, it should be finished soon. Okay. Nearly finished. Okay, it's very close to the end now. Come on. And um, I think it's a good idea before you download this to just do a quick backup. Um, because uh, if you would lose all your files and data, it, you can restore it. Well, I didn't lose anything. It all stayed on the iPod. I hope it's going to stay on this one as well. Um, but I think it's it's really a better idea if you do the backup, and you also sync it with your computer. I mean, backup it to iCloud and sync it with your computer, and then surely everything will go well. Okay, that's taking longer than I thought. So then, um, it is finishing, and okay, now it's only doing everything on it on the iPod it's restarting it said so uh shouldn't take long now Okay, so um, we've only got to wait for the iPod now. Okay. And should take us to the lock screen soon. Let me wait a few seconds and if nothing happens I'm just going to hit the sleep wake button and try I think. Okay. Yep, it is in. So um as you can see um it is downloaded. You have the um control center working the notification center. Of course there's nothing in the calendar but um it is working and then as you step in Here's your home screen, and it is working. It is. Don't you should remember it is the beta version. The alpha will come out uh, in autumn. So if you want to uh, get the beta version quickly, then you can 
and get a quick look at um, the get a quick look at uh, the new iOS 7 then download this but there might be a few bugs and I'm sure there are a few and you might and if you want you can report these to um, Apple on the Apple website and then if no one's reported that before you then you could also get something um, if not only a thank you from Apple so um, Please have fun with this, um, I hope you download it, and remember the um, link is in the description, so thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more, and see you in the next video, goodbye.